The Mercator Projection Africa looks roughly the same size as Greenland on most world maps, but Africa is actually 14 times larger. The map you've been staring at makes Greenland appear massive when it's about the same size as the Democratic Republic of the Congo alone. The Mercator Projection, created in 1569 by Gerardus Mercator, was designed for sailors. It preserved angles and directions perfectly, which meant ships could plot straight courses. But to make that work, the map had to stretch countries near the poles and shrink those near the equator. Europe looks bigger than South America, but South America is nearly twice the size. Russia appears colossal, taking up a quarter of Earth's landmass, when it occupies only about 5%. Western countries appear larger and more important, while nations closer to the equator appear diminished. Google Maps used it until 2017. The Great Wall from Space the Great Wall of China is supposedly the only man-made structure visible from space. This myth is deeply embedded in popular culture. The claim goes back to 1754, when William Stukeley wrote about it, decades before anyone had been to space. When Neil Armstrong returned from the moon, people asked if he'd seen the wall. His answer? He saw continents, lakes, and oceans, but no man-made structures. Even from low Earth orbit, where the International Space Station cruises at 400 kilometers up, the wall is practically invisible. The structure is over 7,000 kilometers long, but only 6 meters wide. China's first astronaut, Yang Liwei, caused an uproar in 2003 when he admitted he couldn't see the wall from orbit. The Chinese government started revising elementary school textbooks. Antarctica is a desert. When you picture a desert, you imagine sand dunes, blazing sun, maybe a camel, you don't picture penguins. But Antarctica is a desert, the largest on the planet, nearly twice the size of the Sahara. The definition has nothing to do with temperature or sand, just precipitation. Any region receiving less than 250 millimeters of rain per year qualifies. Antarctica's interior receives less than 50 millimeters annually. Some parts of the McMurdo Dry Valleys haven't seen rain or snow in two million years. The continent is covered in ice, but that ice took tens of millions of years to accumulate. Penguins live in a desert. Most penguin species breed in arid and semi-arid areas, including southern Africa, Peru, and Argentina. The Coriolis Effect and Toilets Water drains in opposite directions, depending on which hemisphere you're in, right? Toilets flush clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere because of the Coriolis Effect. The Coriolis Effect is real, causing hurricanes to spin counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern, but it's so weak on small scales that it has zero impact on your toilet. The direction water spins is determined by how water entered the basin, the fixture shape, and which direction the manufacturer angled the jets. Physicist Asher Shapiro at MIT proved you could detect the Coriolis effect in draining water, but only under controlled conditions. He filled a large dish, covered it, and let water sit still for 24 hours. Only then could he measure the effect. Rivers always flow north to south. We instinctively think of north as up and south as down. But gravity doesn't care about compass directions. Rivers flow downhill regardless of direction. The Nile flows from south to north. So does the Rhine. The Orinoco in South America flows northward. The direction depends on elevation and terrain. Capital city confusion. Most people assume a country's largest city is its capital. Sydney isn't Australia's capital, that's Canberra. Lagos isn't Nigeria's capital, that changed to Abuja in 1991. Toronto isn't Canada's capital, Ottawa is. Zurich and Geneva aren't Switzerland's capital, that's Bern. Sometimes this happens because of political compromise, like Canberra being built halfway between Sydney and Melbourne. Countries on two continents. Some countries exist on two continents, not just Russia and Turkey. Egypt straddles Africa and Asia. Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Kazakhstan sit on both Europe and Asia if you accept the Caucasus watershed as the divide. The concept of continents is arbitrary, more about culture than geology. American state myths. If you thought Florida was America's southernmost state, you'd be wrong since Hawaii joined in 1959. Alaska is simultaneously the westernmost and easternmost state because the Aleutian Islands cross the 180th meridian. Wyoming has the lowest population, not Alaska. With 587,000 residents, Wyoming ranks last, followed by Vermont with 648,000, then Alaska with 740,000. Australia can ski. Australia is a dream vacation for extreme sports lovers, but it's also great for skiing. Despite the nickname, the sunburnt country, it snows in some parts. At higher elevations in Tasmania and the mountains along the east coast, snow falls regularly in winter. 
Some years see 118 inches of snowfall. Skiing is surprisingly popular in Australia, and the country has produced Olympic gold medalists. The Sahara is rocky. The popular perception of the Sahara is endless rolling sand dunes, however most is rocks not sand. Sand makes up about 30%, with 70% being rock and gravel. The sandy regions, called ergs, show up in movies because they're dramatic. But rocky regions, called hamadas and regs, cover far more territory. Cape of Good Hope The Cape of Good Hope is a rocky headland on the Atlantic side of the Cape Peninsula in South Africa. It's far south, but it isn't the southernmost point in Africa. That's actually 90 miles east-southeast at Cape Agulhas, where the Atlantic and Indian Ocean currents meet. The Pyramids and Cairo When you look at pictures of the Pyramids of Giza, you imagine they're removed from modern civilization. That's a misconception from well-cropped photographs and movies. The truth is, they're right next to Cairo. The urban sprawl has expanded to the edge of the Giza Plateau. You can stand at the pyramids and see apartment buildings and busy streets beyond the monuments. English weather England's weather has a reputation for being miserable. People's perception is cloudy skies, fog, wet pavement and stuffy businessmen carrying umbrellas. But England's major cities don't get more rain than other European cities. Paris sees more rainfall than London. Leeds is the rainiest English city with 40 inches yearly. But it isn't as wet as Zurich, which gets 41 inches. Mexico and Geography Americans refer to Mexico as south of the border, but it's more accurate to say west of the border. The Texas-Mexico border is to the state's west, and Mexico isn't that far south. 11 U.S. states extend further south than northern Mexico, and geographically Mexico is part of North America, not South America. If you made it this far through all these geographical mind-benders, hit subscribe, drop a like, ring the bell, and tell me which geography myth surprised you the most in the comments below.